Hi everyone and welcome back to our mini-series on essay writing. If you haven't seen our introduction to essay writing, you can find it in the description box below. In today's video, we will be looking at the introductory paragraph, how to write a good introduction for your essay. So the four elements that are very important are as follows. The first one is the hook and I will explain that later on in the video. The next one is a bridge followed by a summary, and finally, the thesis. So let's look at these individually. So the hook is the first part of the paragraph. And this part, you really want to grab the reader's attention. You want to give them a shocking statistic or something that will encourage them to continue reading. The second part is the bridge. The bridge links both the hook and the next part of the paragraph. Usually here, we give an example to really let the reader know what they're going to be reading about. The third part is the summary, and this will be the longest part of your paragraph. Two to three sentences which explain to the reader exactly the purpose of your essay. And the final part is the thesis. And a thesis is just a fancy way of saying your own idea or opinion on the matter. However, don't forget to avoid using things such as I think. You want to support it with evidence and make it a more general statement. So now that we've looked at the four parts, let's have a look at an example paragraph and let's try to identify the four elements that make a strong introduction. So this introduction paragraph is how technology has changed our way of social interactions. So let's take a look at the example. So now we're going to take a minute to read through the paragraph together. There has been a dramatic change in people's interactions caused by advanced technology. Social media apps, digital cameras and Apple's FaceTime have made it easy for people to communicate at any time and anywhere. However, not everyone supports this method of communication. Social relationships have been influenced by modern technology. Some individuals argued that a number of negative effects result from the vast development of communication devices. But given the ways in which we can now communicate, this view may not be supported by the majority of people. So now that we've listened and we've read the paragraph, let's try to identify the hook in the paragraph. So the first sentence, there has been a dramatic change in people's interactions caused by advanced technology. This is what we can identify as the hook of the sentence. It grabs the reader's attention with a dramatic statement that technology has changed our social interactions. So after the hook, we have the bridge, and that usually includes some examples. Let's take a look at our paragraph and try to identify where the bridge is. Here we have Social media apps, digital cameras, and Apple FaceTime have made it easy for people to communicate at any time and anywhere. However, not everyone supports this method of communication. This is what can be seen as our bridge because it links the idea from our hook to our summary of our topic. So after our bridge, we have our summary, and this is our two to three sentences that give an overview of the topic we're going to talk about. So again, let's take a look at our paragraph and let's try to identify the summary. So our sentence starts, social relationships have been influenced by modern technology. Some individuals argue that a number of negative effects result from the vast development of communication devices. This is the overall summary of the essay in its entirety. It explains very clearly that the essay you're going to read is about social interactions, the negative effects that technology has had on those interactions. And the final part is our thesis, which is our general idea or feeling on the matter, but given in a very formal way. Let's take a look at our final sentence in our paragraph and clearly see if we can identify the thesis in our paragraph. 
the sentence starts. But given the ways in which we can now communicate, this view may not be supported by the majority of people. Here, by using a negative to say not be supported and majority of people, we are clearly stating that we are with the majority. We think that technology has had a positive impact on social interactions. So as you can see, this is an example of a very well-constructed introductory paragraph. So everyone here at Jean's Videos, hope you found this video particularly helpful in introductory paragraph writing. Coming up, we'll be having some work on body paragraphs and conclusion paragraphs. You can download this free PPT and our example paragraph in the description box below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos so you don't miss out on all the help that we're offering in your English writing journey.